blind, healed. I once was blind. Now I see. I dare say he never forgot that day. <laughs> when, when did you, when did your eyes go? You know, well, you know, I think it was August. It might have been September. You know, I'm not really sure. It might have been 2012. It could have been 2000. No, 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 no. He can tell you the date, tell you the time, tell you the year. Tell you what he was wearing. Tell you what happened when he got healed. Because he was blind. But now I can see. Young people in our churches, young people in this youth camp, young people sitting before me this morning, you're blind. You're blind. It's blind to me. No, I'm not blind, preacher. I can see. That's the problem. You're deceived by the master of deception. Yes. And to believe in that you can see when truly you have become blind. Yes. Can somebody say that? Yes. Hallelujah. Living blinded by the enemy. Living blinded by hell. Living blind by the devil. Time and time again throughout Paul's ministry. And throughout Paul's life, he recounted the day in his life when he was blind, but he was made to see. Can somebody say it man? He loved to tell the story of when he got saved. <laughs> Woo! I don't know. I just believe Brother Freddy probably loved to tell people about when God saved him. Somebody say amen. There ain't nothing but a man. I'm not saying but a great. I got some at home that was sorry, low down, good for nothing, drunks, good, not good for their family, not good for the society, not good for the church. But they ain't nothing like what I'm getting saved. And 15 years later, every time he testifies, he says, I want to thank God for the night that he delivered. says, amen, I was blind, I had scales upon my eyes, not physically, but spiritually, I thought I was right, I thought I was doing the right thing, I thought I was doing everything that I could, and was being used for God, but did I not know, little did I know, I had been deceived by the master of deception. I had been blind into the truth. Even though I was going through the motions, I did not have a touch. I did not have the power. I did not have the presence of God living and dwelling in me on a day-to-day -day basis. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them. He said he blinded my mind. And there's those that's minds have been blinded by the God of this world. He'll deceive you, brother and sister, young people into believing that everything's okay. Scales on your eyes spiritually. Unable to see the truth. Unable to see the way. Unable to see what God wants and desires to do in your heart and in your life. Brother and sister, you say, how can I be blind? There's young people sitting in this building this morning that's about blind by sin. I said you've been blinded by sin. There's sin in your life and the devil's told you it's okay. God don't really care. Just as long as you don't get involved. Just as long as you don't become completely addicted. Just as long as you don't become completely addicted. Sin. And if it's evil, it's sin. And it's not right. 
church gets holding hands. Now somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now we got young people in our churches Go ahead. wrapped up with each other on the pews. Come on. Amen. Amen. Preach it, bro. I want my God, I get some man. Amen. I want to jump up and holler, won't some mama get up and go tell your young and get out of that boy's lap in the house of God? They preach you don't even hold hands. Come on. What's wrong with holding hands? They say it leads to something else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Something that ain't good. <laughs> oh, come on now. Somebody help me. <laughs> Amen. Somebody was blinded by sin <laughs> because you think nothing of <laughs> certain activities with the opposite sex <laughs> as long as you don't <laughs> Amen. go past <laughs> a certain point. <laughs> and I'm careful how I say <laughs> how I put my words. <laughs> But sin is sin. I said sin is sin. And my God. Amen. You compare yourself to other young people. I'm living better than that one. Then I'm okay. I don't do wrong. Right. Right. You cannot compare yourself to others. You must compare yourself to God. And to Him alone. And if you don't line up with the word of God. Then there's sin in your life. And the pleasure of sin is but for a season. And Come on! To an end. And somebody say amen. When lust has conceived, it brings it forth. more sin. When sin is finished, yeah. it brings forth death. That's the word. Death. Death. That's death. Step in God. Come on. That's the word. Sin. Sin. You're blinded by sin. You, you see, you get. I, 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 I cannot preach. Come on. Come on. You get in a youth camp like this. Brother Charmin preached last night. Holy Ghost movement. You get in a service like we're in this morning. Presence of God moving. Power of God falling. You feel God. Amen. No one smoked a cigarette before you left the house. Amen. Some of you sat around and said, ain't none of this about smoking cigarettes. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Come on, man. No one got one last good puff before you left the house because you knew it's going to be a week before you get your hands on another one. Amen. Yeah, I don't have 